What's up, ladies and guys? It's Walter Tuomi here for Neo Defective Gaming, back from a temporary COVID inf <coughs> <coughs> infection. <clears throat> okay, so it's the holidays and you need a gift for your streaming boyfriend or girlfriend or maybe yourself and can't nobody love you like you, am I right? Am I right? Well, it's an interesting holiday season because prices are inflated. So grab these gift items right now and make yourself or your significant other person ridiculously happy. So number one on the list is going to be the Elgato Stream Deck. Normally priced at $150, this gives you control over your entire stream, along with the sense that this is what you need for your stream to make it feel official, and I'll admit, it gave me that dopamine punch feeling when I finally made the purchase for myself. So for the uninformed, just look up one of my previous videos up here or another YouTube personality and you will see how important it is to your stream. Watch any streamer and I promise you they'll be using it as well. This is the gift that will elevate any stream to new production levels or maybe elevate the relationship you have with your cuddle buddy. So why not seek this out if they don't already have it? Number two on this list is the Elgato Wave 3 USB condenser microphone. $160 is normally the price. Uh, this is pretty much the new flex when it comes to the USB microphones. It has just Great reviews. It comes with downloadable software called Wavelink for the user if there is a need for extended volume control. It's very simple to set up and the mic itself has a bunch of attachments to purchase like a sleek pop filter, extension rods, and a shock mount. The quality is superb for USB users. It does give that I'm a streamer aesthetic as well, which is another plus. I think it's a great alternative for non-XLR users and a whole heck of a lot expensive, inexpensive. Okay, so number three on this list is the Logitech C922X webcam, which is normally $65. It's pretty much the starting streaming webcam before you get to a mirrorless camera like a Canon or a Sony or whatever else. The C922X is 1080p at 30 frames per second, but really doesn't look that great even in its best list situations. It shoots 60 frames per second at 720p, but it really shines and looks its best when using its chroma key. I still use this camera when using a green screen, and I really like it for alternative cam shots for different angles in my room. I'd suggest proper lighting regardless of what camera you use, but this camera will look worse like most webcams without properly placed lighting. So consider lighting when purchasing any camera, but it's still an integral piece of hardware when streaming on a budget and allows for better interactions with your viewers. Number four is Avermedia 4K capture card normally $300 on sale everywhere right now for $240 from pretty much everywhere. Probably my current favorite sale going on. Avermedia might not be the most recognizable to some, but in name compared to Elgato, but those who know, Avermedia's capture card supports the 4K, the 1440p at 60 frames per second, and 1080p at 240 frames per second, along with 7.1 surround sound. Plus, the minimalist design makes this the best capture card on the market. I've had so many struggles with the audio pops in the Elgato HD60 Pro capture card, along with many others who've also been complaining in the chats and the forums, but for those with consoles and the need to stream quality gameplay without using the native software built into them, basically it frees up the utilities and processes that will give that stream a much needed jump in resolution and quality. You can thank yourself or demand a thank you for whoever earns this in their stocking. Number five, gaming chairs. Low quality chairs from $90 to $400 and whatever your budget can afford for a higher quality chair such as this DX Racer I'm currently resting my peach on. The options are near limitless. I have a bad quality chair and a great quality chair. The support the DX Racer gave me along with the comfort of the lumbar pillow, an ergonomic design, the armrest swivel and height adjustment give me. The actual padding compared to the low quality chair goes without saying this is the most satisfying gift given to me from that special someone who knew I'd put in those long gaming hours well past her bedtime. It's safe to say I might have slept in it during my COVID isolation. Don't worry, I wiped her down and sanitized it the moment I wasn't contagious any longer. And a bonus gift is the Philips Hue RGB lighting strip. Okay, so this is quite expensive and a bit short compared to what you can get elsewhere, but the software is the smoothest I have used for all other desktop lighting I have along with the most camera friendly. That being the strobing issue, AC lighting and non-LED lighting will have with any camera that's not synced up. 
in frames. It's usually 60. But anyways, that's it for streaming gifts for the holidays. I hope this helps with any last minute gifts you need to make out. If you were just stumped on what to get, I hope this helps as well. So I've been Walter Tuomi for Neo Defective Gaming. Stay dirty, humans. There has to be a glitch somewhere. Oh, this thing's not even... Yeah, it's not even loading a texture. This thing looks like a snowmobile.